Ready, set, blow. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Glow Research Auto Glow Plasma System. We're going to go through the features and benefits of this system. We hope you enjoy it. This system is designed for removing photoresist with the plasma. It can, also can be used for removing organics, uh, for PDMS applications, for microfluidics. There's a, various applications that it can be used for. As I go through the system, it's typically used as an oxygen plasma. Some people use it with argon. Some people have used it with small amounts of CF4. So the chamber is right here. It's a quartz chambered system. The system is designed from the ground up to contain RF. The system has three flow meters. Three of the flow meters are used for, say, oxygen, argon, maybe nitrogen or some other gas. It also has a, a nitrogen purge or air purge if you decide to use air on this flow meter right here. Uh, typically, people like the quartz chambered system because of the uh, side, there's, there's very little sidewall interaction in the plasma reaction itself. The door does come off, as I can show you right here, and you would take your sample and you would put it on the quartz sample holder and then, of course, put your, the door back in the cradle. Then you would shut the door, close the door, and you come over here. We'll go through the operation of the system in just a moment. Let me go ahead and tell you a few more things about the Autoglow Plasma system. You'll notice that there's a lot of screws all the way around the system. That's for RF containment. The entire system is designed so that it tunes very quickly and very accurately. We have a timer here that is minute, minute, and second, second. So you can set it for pretty much any range that you want. It has automatic uh, endpoint uh, once the time has been depleted. Uh, this uh, system right here has a selector switch for pressure, for the power setting, for the reflected power, and for the actual power going into the chamber. We're going to go ahead and start the system up now. So to start the system, you press the AC on button. That'll activate the system. We've already turned the pump on separately from the system. And now we'll press this button, which is the vacuum button, which pumps the system down. So over here, you can see the pressure setting, and as we reduce our pressure, you'll see that we'll go down in pressure. And once we hit 0.5, we'll pass the crossover pressure, and that will allow the system to activate. As we cross 0.5 tor, the plasma should strike. So we can strike a plasma as low as 10 watts or as high as 300 watts in one watt increments. You also notice in the chamber that there's a gas distribution tube in the quartz chamber itself which adds to the uniformity of your process. So over here we're going to go over and show the uh, pressure that we're at. We're at 1.38 so to moment to, to increase or decrease your, your chamber pressure you would either lower or increase the flow of gas going into your system. Typically you operate at 0.5 to 1.2 torr. In this case we're at 300 watts so I'm going to go ahead and turn that down to say about uh, 110 watts and right here we show reflected power of 1.3 which is very good so uh, reflected power is a measurement of the power that's not actually going in the chamber in this case the amount of power going in the chamber is 169 and the set point is 170. It's very close. Over here we have a diagnostic display, an LED diagnostic display that shows confirmation of the interlocks, the vacuum, the pressure, the gas flow, and the RF on. This is very good for talking to the factory about your system. Sometimes we ask people to take pictures of their system so that we can assist the customer with the process. If you wanted to stop the process, you'd press process abort and that stops the process. To start the process again, simply push the, the button that says process start and the process starts up again. Now we're looking at the back of the Autoglow plasma system and you can see that we have a purge gas here and gas one, two, and three. 
These gases, uh, you need to bring them in at about 10 PSI for each gas. Over here we have a one inch vacuum hose that's reinforced. And we also have a KF25 flange that fits on the back. This is, uh, goes into the vacuum valve right here. And of course the AC connection right here for a standard 110, 120 outlet all the way up to 220. It's designed for service anywhere in the world. This is the RF generator. You can see we have a bar right here that uh, holds the RF generator in. It's a retaining bar. If you ever need to get to the RF generator, simply unscrew these screws right here and the RF generator slides out the back of the system. But you also notice that we have different air holes in the system. That's for the flow of gas coming in the front of the system, going through the system, over the RF generator, and back out the back of the system. I'd like to just summarize the important features and benefits of the Glow Research Autoglow Plasma System. I'm going to go ahead and start it up right now, but you notice how quick the system starts up and how fast the, the system lights up and strikes a plasma. That's because it has a very sophisticated matching network in the system that is used on production systems that cost about five times as much as the Autoglow system. But we use it in the Autoglow system because it does such a very, very good job. The system can strike a plasma as low as 10 watts or as high as 300 watts. And it can, you can adjust that in one watt increments. Most other systems cannot do that. We also have a reading for reflected power. The reflected power is extremely low in this system due to the design of the system and how tight it is and all the RF containment and the matching network. The RF generator, is, we make the RF generator, it's designed to go up to 300 watts in one watt increments. It's a very extremely reliable generator. Uh, should you ever need to take the generator out, it's a module that slides out the back of the system. The electronics are on the back side of the front of the system and all the electronics are there that control the system. The system is very easy to operate for your operators or if you have multiple people using the system. It has a timer that automatically shuts off the process. It has up to three gases that you can have, process gases, and it has a nitrogen or an air purge that can give you a soft vent of the chamber back up the atmosphere. The quartz chamber itself, a lot of people like the quartz chamber because you have very little sidewall interaction, you have very good rates and very good uniformity because of the quartz chamber and also because of the gas distribution tube that's inside of the quartz chamber. The system overall is designed to be extremely safe, extremely reliable, and will last for years and years and give you very good processing for stripping photoresist, for removing organics, for plasma modification, for changing things from hydrophobic to hydrophilic, uh, or vice versa. It can also be used for microfluidics, for PDMS applications. We have these systems at all the major universities in the United States, such as multiple systems at, at MIT, at Harvard. We have multiple systems at Stanford, at various other universities throughout the, the, uh, the United States and also the world. We ship these systems all over the world. We're very proud of them, and they operate extremely reliable. Thank you for taking the time to view our video on the Autoglow Plasma System. Other products manufactured by Glow Research are the lower priced OptiGlow 75 and the OptiGlow ACE system. These systems are used for plasma treatment, organic removal, and etching applications. Both have anodized aluminum chambers with powered or neutral electrodes. The Autoglow 200 system is designed for 200 millimeter or square substrates and has an anodized aluminum chamber. It comes with either a plasma sample holder or a bottom powered sample holder. The Autoglow 200 can operate with up to 600 watts of power with options for end point control and DC BIOS monitoring. For precision reactive ion etching, we now offer the ST1200 for RIE etching of oxides, nitrides, and other films. This single wafer system can accommodate up to 200 millimeter wafers and comes with sophisticated processing software for advanced etching. Please contact Glow Research for more information on any of our plasma products. Please know that we are at your service.